Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss few GROC patterns which are used very commonly. Let's begin our session. These patterns we will discuss in this session. All these patterns we will execute in the Kiwana. First, we need to start the Kiwana. I have already started the Kiwana. Those who are not aware how to start the Kiwana, please visit my previous video. I have already explained there. This is the Kiwana interface. You need to scroll down to Dev tools, click on the Dev tools, click on the Jiroc debugger, and this is the place where we will test our all Jiroc patterns. So this is in the we will enter the data, input data, and here we will write the pattern, and here would be the output. Now we will see one by one how these pattern works. Let's see first one how to recognize the IP address. This is the syntax for this. Let's enter the IP address. Let's execute. Yeah, you can see it has passed successfully. So this is working. So here you can give any name of your choice, but this should be exactly same in capital. You can see it is also working. See IP version four. It can also recognize the IP version six. So let's see. This is IP version. Six. Let's see if it is able to recognize or not. Yeah, you can see it has passed successfully. It is also able to recognize the IP version six. Let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to the next one. Greedy data. Let's copy this. Paste here. So greedy data can match anything. You can give anything here, any text, number, special character, anything. It will match everything. Let's see. Yeah, you can see. Space also. You can see. Let's see next one. Next is space. Space is used to recognize the space in the input data. Normally, we do not store the value of space, so we don't use this syntax like this. We use out the name because we don't want to store the value of space in particular field. Let's give the input data. A space 1.32.3.4. This is the IP address. Okay, and this is this. Okay, so for this to recognize the IP address, we will use colon IP pattern and along with this greedy data pattern this yeah you can see so since this pattern is working that's why it is able to give you the value of ip address if this pattern was not working, we would not have received the value of this in this particular field. So this is working. We can also to recognize the space. You can also use without like you can give space also. It will also work. Keep in mind, don't use with the like with the name because we don't want to store the value of space, right? Let's move on to the next. Next is the word. Word can recognize small letter, capital letter, underscore, and number 0 to 9. Let's see if it is able to parse this particular input data or not. Yeah, you can see it has stored the value in the field word. We can give any name here, test also. So it is working. This pattern is working. This is how we can use this pattern. Let's move on to the UID. So I have already copied one sample UID here. Let's see if it is able to Yeah, it is able to recognize MAC address. Already copied one sample MAC address. Let's you let's use this. Yeah, you can see it is able to extract the value of MAC address from the input data. 
email address suppose the email is present in the input data how we can recognize or extract the value of that you can give here any email address test.com yeah you can see it is able to you can see we have removed the at the rate so it is not able to parse because email should have the at the rate along with the domain next number number is used to recognize the number in the input data so it can also recognize the float you can see it is able to parse the this. let's move on to the next int int is used to get the integer value even if the value is present in float float form it will give us the int only you can see it has truncated this part from decimal next is the quoted string it is used to recognize the single code double code in the input data for example this it will give you the exact value of that double quote you can see some other type of code like this okay you can see so this is how we can parse the quoted value suppose you have like i am i am this but this will give you only the value of quoted string you can see this is the complete input data but it has extracted the value which is having the quote that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video